Before we start today's video, we're going to finish our two-part unboxing and close-up of Grams 28 and their awesome leather goods. In the first video, we mentioned this awesome phone case that we unboxed, and this time we're going to see what hides in this second pouch here. It's this awesome sling bag. Specifically, this is the essential sling bag made from high-quality Italian leather. And don't let the size fool you. This thing can hold camera gear, tech items, everyday carry items. There's a ton you can fit in here. And can we take a second and just appreciate the design and craftsmanship of this bag. I mean, it looks awesome. I mean, I'm really just digging this thing right now. The leather feels nice and high quality and bags like this always come in handy. In the end here, I highly suggest you check out this bag and Grams 28. They've got a lot of options on their site and it's definitely worth checking out. You can find them right now in the description. Head on over there, check them out. Now though, on to today's episode. Today here on the channel, we've got a brand new five minute review featuring the new drop from Jack Henry, their styling paste. And as you look at this, you might be thinking to yourself, haven't I seen this one before? Didn't you review this like nine months ago? Yes, I did. I sure did. We looked at this one fully back then and I had some very detailed points about its performance and finish and some of you offered up your opinion on what was shown as well, which most likely has led to what we're seeing today. I'm told Jack Henry changed the formula and the paste completely. It's been given a total revamp and as usual, I've given this a thorough test, put it through all of my usual paces and I'm ready to render my verdict. Let's go ahead and start the clock. Coming across my desk today is the new paste 2.0 from Jack Henry. And according to the brand, this is a totally reimagined and reformulated version of the hair paste they released just some months back. This time around, they described this as a water-based hair paste that offers a light to medium hold, natural finish with hydration and nourishment benefits through the use of active plant and protein extracts. The brand also say this has been updated to be a non-greasy formula that's suitable for all hair types. Price-wise, we're looking at $28 for 1.69 ounces. Moving over to the scent here, it's the same scent actually that we have on all Jack Henry items. I, I don't, I don't really know what it is. I don't know. They don't describe it I, on their site at all. I don't think at least I haven't seen it anyway. If I had to guess, it's like a light citrus maybe, but it's, it's nice and light. It's very fresh. You don't smell it at all. Once it leaves the jar too, you don't smell it at all. So, you know, to me, it's not a big deal. It's a nice scent. It's just the same one that we see pretty much every time with this brand. Looking inside the jar here now, though, we have the first look at how different this version is compared to the previous. Looking back at that one, it almost had a cookie dough look and feel not so much paste like. Here, we have the total opposite. This is much more in line with what you're probably picturing when you hear the word hair paste or hair cream. It's a completely different consistency. It's a nice, bright white color with a very easy breakdown in the hand that does reveal some waxy and tacky presence. Again, much different from the previous formula. Moving straight into our styling test. Now I'm going to be using this one pretty much the same way that I did the other one a few months back. I'm going with fully dried hair and I'm going to be just working in some of the product. And as I do this, I notice a few things right away. This one has much more hold this time around and it's not showing up as greasy, both of which are really good things as those two things were pretty much the basis of my my criticism last time around. What I'm also noticing as I style is a good stackable hold strength, meaning I can increase the hold with using more scoops. With the finish too, I want to point out to you guys that on my screen and camera when I was editing this, I think my hair actually looks a bit shinier on the screen than it does in person. It's probably just a side effects of the light because I don't actually feel like it really had much shine at all. It's a far distance from the previous version for sure. Now though, let's check on this style eight hours into the day. And what I see here is it's become a bit more natural in the hair. The waxy presence has lifted a bit, but it's still got some nice volume going on there and I can still feel it doing its thing, which is really good to see. Before we get to the washout, now I do want to change things up here a little bit and talk about pre-styling. The previous formula was far too shiny for me to be a, a really encouraging pre-styler. It made the hair you know, greasy and stringy, so it just wasn't something that I really considered to be a pre-styler. This time around though, with the differences in the performance, it really made me a bit more curious as to how this would perform. So I went ahead and reset my hair and just added in a few scoops and then blow dried until fully dry. And this is what I saw. I think the result I'm seeing here is actually very similar to with the result that I just shared 
using it as a post styler only. I think the hold level does present a tiny bit less with this method, but the finish actually looks a little bit better, I think. Moving straight into the washout now, this one for me was pretty easy to describe. It's a straight water rinse, no shampoo needed. Everything felt like it just came right out of my hair. It's so nice, so easy, and again, so different from the previous formula. Time now though for my verdict on this new formula. And as you might have been able to pick up, as I've been saying it, you know, throughout this video, this new one here compared to the old one, night and day difference. The old one was thick and doughy almost, and it was more shiny than anything else in the hair. If you saw the first video, you might have noticed I said hold was a barrier and shine was a barrier. The product ended up making my hair kind of greasy and a little bit stringy. Both of those things was an issue for me. And that is also the basis for what I like about this new formula here. It's very simple. It has a fantastic dynamic in the hair consisting of hold slight slight dryness and just a touch of waxiness just enough that you know it's there for hold strength I would label it as a medium but again it's stackable you can make it you know you can make it more intense if you need to and the finish came in for me right at a low grade natural which I think is awesome I also love the fact that you can pre-style with this it it works pretty well there are some things that I think work a little bit better as a pre-styler I'm not saying that this would be something I would consider a dedicated pre-styler, but options are always good. As far as criticism on this goes, I've got a couple of points that lie within the areas of texture and volume and price. You see on their site, the brand itself says they made this for amazing hair texture. I didn't really see much of that in my hair and that could very well be because my hair is super long. You know, it's super long, it's heavy. So yes, that might be just me, but either way, I didn't really see even a little bit of that. I saw a lot more hold and a lot more control, not so much volume and texture. That's just what I saw in my hair. And again, that could be based on my hair type and the length and the weight and everything like that. The last bit of criticism I have is uh, a much more subjective piece of criticism and, and it's the price. I know price is debatable. We've talked about it a lot and it really just boils down to people's right to spend their money the way they want. But I do have to say, I, I, I just have to say, I think $28 for 1.69 ounces is just a bit high. That's just, that's just my opinion. Other than that though, I do think they really made an incredible upgrade from the previous formula. Like this one here versus that one is 10 times better. I can tell you that it's 10 times better than the first pace that they released. That's my thoughts on this product though. The final verdict as always is up to you. And if you'd like to check this out for yourself, a link will be in the description down below. I think that pretty much wraps up today. Thank you so much for checking this out. We make sure you did big three for me as well. Like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, take it easy. I'll see you next time.